I'm going to show you how to make a life pen. Um, get some copper coil 1.6 millimeter AS14 and uh, cut off a strip about this much and then create a little curve at the one end. So uh, let's do that. Right, so cut a piece off like that. Get a wire on a tile, hook it down like this. Hang this, make a little coil about this long, hook that on, put it there. So I've done the smaller size, I'm now going to use the uh, the bigger size coil, um, which will be anti-clockwise. Right, this is the outer coil, so now I'm going to place that ready for... Okay. So, got the torch. It's nano cook now. Remember not to make it red hot or the coating comes off. As you can see, blue, black, shiny coating is slowly taking form. Some rainbow colors I can see in there. This is heat nano coating, we don't need to pull it apart for uh, gaps, I mean, pretty much does it all. In between the coils nicely. And already the black, blue black colour is appearing. Keep moving the torch so that it doesn't become red hot. Nano coating. See, so I might have to do that again, let that cool. And that's done. I'm going to let that cool and then give another pass of the torch. So you have the inner uh, wire, the outer coil and the inner coil. These are both anti-clockwise turns. Let's give them one more pass. assemble it. Right here I have some gants and all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the gants on for what it's worth. Remember, never touch this. Right, 
Okay. So now, right, so I've got the, um, the inner wire, the inner coil, and the outer coil. Both of the coils are anti-clockwise. I've doused it, dabbed um, GANS onto it, and I'm now going to put it into some heat shrink, and that should be the pen done. I've got a little bit of copper uh, exposed there, and I might pass another flame across to, uh, to cover that up with nano again. And that should be it. Okay, so you have the inner wire. The, it's inside the inner coil, which is inside the outer coil, and I've just put it into this bottle like so, and I put GANS CO2 inside it. So there you have it, a homemade life pen. A little bit of copper showing there, but um, it's my first attempt, and hopefully over time it'll get better. And let's see, I'll keep you posted whether it has any healing uh, capacity, uh, how efficient it is, how good it is. So thanks.